Hello, in this video, I'm going to share with you about classification examples based on decision tree and I'm going to use some illustrative data on BTS members. Let's start. Here's some um, enlightenment for, to the BTS fans. Right. Assume that we have this collection of data for each member in the BTS and there are two additional imaginary members you and me here down here in the table and we have this collection of information on hair length, weight and age and each person is already categorized as rapper or vocalist um, then the task is to apply supervised machine learning algorithm to categorize the members based on what they can do for the group as rapper or vocalist so the benefit is that when there is a new member to the team and has the following characteristics such as hair length equals to 8, weight equals to 190 and age 18 would this person be assigned as rapper or vocalist? so to do to proceed we should first pre-process the data using binning or discretization for simplicity purpose, let's take this as our example. Hair length less or equals to 5, weight less or equals to 116, and age less or equals to 14. And then from there, we transform the original numeric data into categorical like this. And the data has two parts, predictor variables as well as target. Can you identify the patterns in the table? Maybe try to find the pair between each of the predictive variables with the target? Hair length and class, weight and class, and age and class, or even the pair of the predictive variables. Maybe you can spot that everybody who has weight more than 160 are rapper. Right? Good observation, guys. Um, can we identify the relationship of other variable well decision tree provides a systematic approach to do that and these are the steps we need to calculate the entropy using the frequency table of one and two attributes and then utilizes the information gain um, before we proceed with the branching and recursively develop the tree this is the first step to calculate the entropy of the decision or the singer so based on the data we have four people who is categorized as vocalist and five people as rapper and we um, replace the value in this equation next let's see we are considering the first attribute the first predictive variable the hair length less or equals to five and it is observed here that there are four people who has hair length less or equals to five and one of them is a vocalist and three of them are the rapper so let's check let me use this highlighter to illustrate to you so we need to identify people which has hair length close to five there Mm -hmm, rapper and this one also as rapper and this one as vocalist as well as this one as rapper so we can see that there are three rappers and one vocalist you see to our example so we assign we replace the value based on this formula and follow through um then from this based on the um, value we can further proceed um, to the next and we need to repeat for each of the entropy to decide which attribute should be at the root of the decision tree and from this we can also identify the value of gain here which is 0 0.091 next this is to split based on weight so based on the overall data we want to consider whether weight or whether the hair length should be at the top of the tree here we can identify that the value of the gain of the weight is 0 0.59 this is now 0 0.09 this is 0 0.59 
and then here by considering age and similarly identifying these values based on the data we can calculate the entropy of the attribute and also the information gain of the overall attribute and we get 0 0.013 um, based on these three we can see clearly that weight has the largest value of 0 0.59 because of that we put weight at the top of the tree like this and then from there we can further identify um, how many uh, of the members comply to that and further after that identify what would be the split of the so this is a recursive um, activity this time we want to find the split using hair length and then we proceed with gain identification of the last feature the age so um, when we are doing the age now we should decide a beginning size for the age since j-hope is 20 and jimin is 19 so we take this as the branching rules so leave us with this three right so we don't need to keep the data around just the test condition as provided on the right side of the, of the slide and on the left side um, here you can see that it just makes sense to convert the decision tree to rows and this decision tree are equals now to apply or to implement the rule into the formula and to see if there is a new member with this formation and apply into the decision tree the answer is proper so this illustrates the usefulness of using decision tree as a, um, as a, a machine learning algorithm for decision making then we can further check how many of the record can be represented by the rules so based on this we check how many comply so to do that this is a technique and called confusion matrix and we can use each of the variables that is provided in the page then we can check how many can be represented by the rules and we get um, which of the um, record complies to this rule and we get the precision of the model right so that finishes my tutorial on decision tree the next part is actually on nine pairs and we can see that by using navy's method the uh, output is different compared to the one detected by our decision tree so my next video would discuss why is this happening all these are the thoughts to ponder. See you next time. Thank you.